Hello everybody, I'm a Nick, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. On the last episode, we became challengers, in addition to getting some new duds. And on today's episode, we need to go take ourselves a little rest at the end, because... You know what? That's just how we do things. Oh hey, the dude has a sword and a shield. Dun dun dun! Hiya! Looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh hey, Sonya, what are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering weld. I reckon if I look into some of Galar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're already here anyway. What's this then? It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. What if I said give me all the details? Long ago... A great black storm covered the Gala region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero, bearing a sword and a shield. The statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had, and what this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it blotted out the skies all across Galar. I suppose that tracks with it being called the Darkest Day, but still. Huh. I suppose that hero must have been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're going to have your hands full with plenty of to research though, Sonya. Black storms and swords and shields and all. I think you'll be okay. Heh, <laughs> thanks. I'll muddle through somehow. Don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Probably so. And we'll look out for you, too, Sonya. If we hear anything about any hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. Suddenly, I'm like a descendant of the hero or something. Who knows? Oh, God, it's these assholes. Here we go. We came all the way out to this big city so we could probably cheer on gym challengers. Team Yell is here to help, after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. Uh, I'm up for that. Hooligans! Here we go. Didn't we tell you, mate? You'll get in our way and you're in for a battle. Team Yell's all about helping. Helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us make some noise. Get your horns out of here. I'm gonna knock you assholes out. It's just a goddamn zigzagoon. I'm gonna kick this thing's ass. And they couldn't even come up with an in background. Just this? Really? I'm gonna double kick your face into the ground. You have no hope. Rip. Just a one hit KO. We take those. Come on, give me, give me all of you. I'll take you all on. This is how this works. Oi, give me a break here. Team yell, get revenge for me, would ya? Okay, that is how we're doing things. Of course I've got you covered, mate. What could be better than a battle in a lovely hotel lobby? Look, I have to try and do the accent and yeah, that's the girl from earlier. So, uh. Your nicket is unfortunately going to get kicked in the face until it cries. Because that's what Score Bunny does with Double Kick. It beats you into the ground. Although, your quick attack may hurt a little bit. It's not going to be enough. You get double kicked. Why'd you even take the health bar away? You should have just stayed. Come on. Well, it's down. My nicket leveled up. Ain't that spiffy. Must have got a bit carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. Why do I keep trying? But I'm probably just going to keep doing it anyway because that's how they talk. Ah, man. The swanky sophisticated air in here had, had me off my game. I couldn't keep my cool. I wasn't expecting checking in would be such a big fuss, buddy. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Don't think you can get ahead of me that easily. I need to get some training in, so I'm joining. Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon, too. 
I just literally kicked the thing twice. I don't even need healing. I'm Hop, one of this year's gym challengers, and the one who's gonna be the next champion. Now let's have us a nice two on two. Here we go. I can only hear my victory coming. The only sound you'll make is a whimper of defeat. Uh, more like I'ma kick your asses into the dirt. Because you're just hooligans. Get out of here. The Wulu. You send out your goddamn sheep. Uh, I think I'm just gonna kick the Zigzagoon into the ground because I highly doubt the, uh, yeah, it's barely gonna do any damage. Even to that thing. And I'll, but I also don't know Wulu's stats. So there's that. Give me all those XP's. I want them all. Eh, fine, you can learn Snarl. Especially since that's actually not a bad move. Uh, just give me the leader, I guess. There we go, you learned a thing. How cool. Seriously, all you gotta do is growl at the thing. Then again, I'm just gonna kick it, so... I get it. You think you can beat me into the ground? Ha! Double kick time. Although seriously, with this engine, you could probably easily support triple battles. That'd be cool to have come back. Cause you know, you keep cutting things all the damn time. It's just the Meowth. It's not good. These guys, those three aren't gonna stay, so. Yeah, get out of town and give me all your goddamn cash. Guess it was defeat that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. What are you lot doing here? Marnie? N -n -n nothing we was just... I know you're all terribly curious about the other gym challengers, but you gotta show a bit of restraint. Sorry about them. They're just a bunch of my fans, calling themselves Team Yell and follow me around, cheering for me. I think they let it all go to their heads a bit. Come on, you lot! Back home with you now! They're just so caught up with wanting to support me and all that, they tend to get a bit shirty with other gym challengers. Sorry if they caused you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger too? Team Yell was it? Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. And she just says the same damn thing. So let's just check into the damn place. Good evening and welcome to the Boodoo Drop Inn. You must be one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge. Yep. Yes, young master. I see that the league has booked a room for you. And if I might, thank you for helping us out of a sticky situation with those hooligans earlier. I hope you have a pleasant stay with us. Sleep well. Hop, what are you doing here? We roomies, buddy! Get out! You got your own damn room! Morning! So this is it. Now my legend... For the last fucking time! Quit saying that, it already started! <laughs> Yeesh! I know it's because I guess it's for the kids at all, but seriously. So I hope this is the last time I hear this line. Watch out, buddy! I'll beat you to Motostoke Stadium! It's like he's Discount Barry or something, Jesus Christ! No longer have to hold the B button to hustle my booty. Ah, I should have talked to Marnie. Oh well. Gym Challenger, the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. Yeah, let's just hurry this thing up. We don't got all day. I mean, that was like, what, 10 seconds? And they just give that? Okay. Challenger Nicholas, wasn't it? We must ask that gym challengers wear their uniforms for all official events. The opening ceremony marks the beginning of the gym challenge, so you know what that means. That's right, I'll need you to get changed as well. 
And there's a changing room over in the off over there. There we go, 637, suckas. For Valcarona. Wonderful. You look sharp as a pin, and at 637 there, that really is the number for you. Now we're ready at last for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment. It is my pleasure to announce that finally, the Galar Region Gym Challenge will now begin. Yes, the Gym Challenge. Participants must be defeat the eight gym leaders and gather their eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. Now I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. A roll call? Come on, let's load it. There they are. Fighting Farmer, here's the grass type expert, Milo. The Raging Wave, it's the master of water types, Nessa. The ever burning man of fire, here comes the fire type veteran, Kabu. The Galar Karate Prodigy, nobody's better with fighting types than B. The master of a fantastic theater, it's the charming fairy type user, Opal. The Hard Rock Crusher, please welcome the Rock Tech Master, Gordy. But last but not least, the Tamer of Dragons, it's Raihan, the top gym leader. Unfortunately, we're missing one, but... These are the gym leaders that we in the Gala region are proud to call our own. Seven of them? Oh my. Oh, it's me. Everybody else is here too. Would you look at that? Standing out there on the pitch in the stadium in front of everyone? There's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. You made it at last, Hop, and you too, Nick. So you're the two trainers our champion endorsed himself. Welcome, and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Oh, and what's this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful. It seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the wishing stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know. I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good, very good indeed. That means the whole Gala region is in for some excitement. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. Now, I'm terribly sorry, but there is some urgent business I need to attend to, so I must be on my way. The best of luck to both of you. The chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now listen closely, you two. You both only just started on your paths as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves, too. Let's do it, buddy. You know the gym challenge is a set order that you gotta visit the gyms in, right? The first is in Turfield, and to get there, we need to head to Route 3. Well, now we've got our goal. So, uh, how about we just start heading on our way? It's just over to the left. At least I can't really get lost in this place because Pokemon Design says, uh, you don't get to get lost, period. I 
gift, a wonderful thing from the chairman, such a wonderful man. Uh, the flying taxis. Oh. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. So, you just go to the town map and boom, you get to fly. Everyone's like, do your best and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I already have fly. I don't get this this early. The hell is wrong with you people? I mean, it's convenient, yes, but what the hell is wrong with you people? Uh, nothing? You guys suck. Another Pokemon Center up here? Don't you think that's a little overkill? Uh, that may be useful in a bit, but I saw a Sparkly right here. That'll replace a doll I used because I encountered an over level 20 Ghastly and I'm just like, nope, 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 nope. Not dealing with that. Ew, what else is around here? I don't even know. Oh wait, is this a train station? This is a train station. Which isn't really all that useful to me, except if I absolutely need to go somewhere that I haven't been to before. Wait, you're a cook. Uh, you don't even sell me anything? Come on. Hey, is that all that's really over in this part? Oh, nope, that's just that that's a way to go down, but I think I need to go left. If oh. Just, you don't even say or give a thing. That sucked then. Guess I'm just going to keep moving. There you are. I've been waiting. Let's have a battle, you and me. We'll get in a bit of training. Uh, okay. I knew you'd be up for it. We gotta stay keener than anyone else if we wanna steal the spotlight from our rivals. All right, hop time. We already went out into the field to do this. Okay, Wooloo, you're getting these kicks. You're getting all these kicks. Keep up, mate. This is our challenge. This is our chance to see if we're up to the gym challenge. Ooh, you even got a level while I wasn't looking. Too bad that means I just give you these kicks. Oh, that's just not going to two-hit KO. Oh, wait. It did? Damage Rangers are awesome. Typical. Should have known you'd mastered type matchups. You can shut up about it. And besides, I got some level ups. Score Bunny's 14. Chortle is 10. Yamper, I don't really care. Grookey is going to get burned. You should know this already. So yeah. Burn, Grookey, burn. Although I should maybe put a little more effort into my levels. Ooh, you got some defense. Well, special defense anyway. Hey, look. I can heal for two hit points a turn. Choke on that. And that's going to require one more hit. Oh, burn. I can now do whatever I want. And I won't care. In fact, you even gave me two hit points for free. Now, catch these embers. Although I'm... Yeah. Oh, oh here's the potion. Because trainers have to use items. Wow, Grookey has a lot of health. I have to say. And I guess my uh, Ember does about 20 or so damage. Actually, I've got a fair bit of health too, but... I feel like Grookey should have a little bit more. Have a taste of our two power. Our green power just keeps on growing stronger. The branch poke? Uh, you're burned? And yeah. That wasn't gonna do jack. Because I'm pretty sure that would be a physical move. And when you're burned, you have a less physical attack to work with. So that sucks for you, buddy. And I'm gonna just keep healing. You can't catch these kicks. Rook D is the bird. So you know what? I think Choodle should get some time out. Let's do this. Let's, let's bite this thing. 
I gotta put this strong jaw to work. Backed into her corner? You got it all wrong, mate. This will make my victory all the better. I'm pretty sure you, I mean, your bird is gonna catch these jaws. I'ma just, you're looking like a good snack. Your peck is probably gonna do some damage though, which is gonna suck. But this bite should do more damage. Only a bit more though, but that's enough. Besides, there's a Pokemon Center literally right next to us. So catch these teeth, cause your peck has no secondary effect. And I have a clean three hit KO. And your AI just pulled a derp. It pulled a derp. While I bite you to the death. Take it. And get out. There we go. One more level and I bet you evolve. Unless you evolve at level 17 or 18. Was that really good training? Looks like I better keep my guard up. It also doesn't help that my score buddy just kicks your team's ass. So there's that. Just what I'd expect from my rival. You know what? I'll even give you one of my league cards. That's how good I think you did in that battle. Oh, so this just, uh... It's just like I could collect other trainers' league cards. Eh? I wonder if that's how you build a friends list or whatever. Although the first gym will have it to challenges in town f way far off from here. Still, you better believe I'm going to keep on winning my way to that championship match. Eh! Brain and mouth didn't want to work. That's horrible. Hello, Galar. Meet your next champion from the sleepy town of Postwick. It's me, Hop. And speaking of me, I should hop to this Pokemon Center because my Chortle needs its HPs back. Thank you very much. And I should probably catch some stuff just to get some part-time jobs going so I can get stuff. Oh, hey, they actually call it football. Props. I'll give you that much. Oh yeah, the, the mouth is in a cherish ball, cause so that I guess you can't really trade it off via Wi-Fi. I'm gonna take a guess. Oh, TM store? Uh I'll have to buy this later. Probably have to buy these later. And I'll definitely need to buy this later. Helping hand is a TM, seriously? I guess maybe for some like doubles matchups, I guess, but otherwise, I don't know. And I think that's going to be about it for today on today's episode of Pokemon Sword. So on today's episode of Pokemon Sword, I should probably stop being redundant like that for one. But we went and got our uniform and we had to uh, punk hop again because he wants his training and I'm more than happy to take his experience points away. And on the next episode, I think we're going to go going right to this next route and going on to our first gym battle. So with that, I'm Nick, and I'll see you guys next time.